Yo, what's good with it? It's your boy Rio Bands, Rio Bands TV. Hey, um, today, um, right now we got a big feud going on with DJ Chuck T and a guy by the name of King Fame. Um, DJ Chuck T is a big DJ from uh, the North Carolina music scene. He's actually from South Carolina. Um, he's done a lot on the music scene. I've done shows uh, that he's hosted. I've um, took his music business class, a uh, real cool dude. Um, now the other guy, King Fame, I don't really know too much about him. Um, he's an artist. Uh, obviously he was in the Raleigh market uh, in North Carolina at some point in time as well. Um, his baby mother is a woman by the name of uh, Coco Filipina, who is also um, in the music industry in uh, North Carolina. Uh, long story short, um, Chuck T had pretty much put up a post was saying that uh, there wasn't any artist that was ready to be signed pretty much. So then that's when King Fame came back with this. Yeah, you see my face now, huh? Can you see it in the light? Guess where I'm at? Charleston. Who's from Charleston? Is it, is it ironic? That I'm in Charleston right now, but no, I'm not in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm in Charleston, West Virginia. But it's ironic that I'm in Charleston. Hey, listen, do me a favor, bro. Don't never in your life, as long as you live, say there ain't no artist ready as long as I got an artist in North Carolina. All right, bro? It ain't no beef. It ain't nothing, bro. But these people committed to working with me. These people committed to dealing with me. These people follow my leadership. These people committed to my leadership. So guess what? With that being said, if it's an artist assigned to me, which there is one in North Carolina, then that means it's an artist ready. So everything you said is wrong. Don't ever say that out your mouth again, bro, because AC is with us and AC is NC. Okay. So, yeah, you see um, my face now, huh? Can you see it in the light? I'm going to stop that. Um, so... King Fame, uh, IG tag, Carolina Godfather. He has an artist by the name of Off Strength AC. I actually met him uh, about a year or so ago at a, a show. Um, cool, real cool dude. But uh, Mr. King Fame felt like, you know, when Chuck T said that there wasn't an artist ready in North Carolina to sign a deal, um, he's, you know, he has an artist that, you know, AC, who he feels like is ready. So he, you know, he stood behind his artist and he put him out there and then, on the post, you can see DJ Chuck T uh, responds, man, sit your clown ass down somewhere. So um, that's when things get interesting. Um, there was a lot of back and forth uh, for sure that I know. Um, right here you can see he said, um, since he didn't understand me because of my antics, can y'all please tell Chuck T he doesn't have anything nice to say about Carolina artists to keep his mouth closed. It is better to say nothing and appear to be a fool than open up your mouth and remove all doubt. While you talk about how manly you are all the time, it is becoming of a man to pillow talk. It's not becoming of a man to pillow talk with women about my situation with the mother of my child because you are attracted to her and because you saw us together at a DVSM party that I compensated you fair market rate for. Please just be a man of character and integrity if you're going to claim our great state and stop capping for the gram. Chuck T says, nobody cares, bro. Literally nobody. Not one person. Literally no one. Sit your ass down, clown. Uh, King Fane responds, it's not about anyone caring. Principles are principles. He also says, Jason Rogers, I agree. That's what my message is. Blah, 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 blah. So apparently Chuck T, and there was some type of paperwork that came out where apparently um, he had supposedly put his hands on his baby mother, um, Coco Filipina. So there was some paperwork that came out about that. Apparently he had some type of uh, court date um, where it says he was, uh, I guess, you know, charged with uh, putting his hands on his baby mother's. It says that harassment um, made threats to injure her which he, he claims that these were actually posted by uh, Coco Filipina. Um, there's danger of serious immediate injury to the plaintiff. Uh, pretty much is like a restraining order, it looks like, against King Fame. 
um, back in 20, looks like 19. Uh, I don't know, man. It's wicked. I don't know the. I know that Coco Filipina and DJ Chuck T are both uh, heavy in the in the music scene in North Carolina, but I don't know how well they are affiliated and you know how well they work together and things like that. Um, but he came on, and he he definitely denied the rumor. Here was uh, yo, what's good, man? I just want to shout out. I'm gonna play this one. You know what's funny, y'all. When I was the worst version of myself, everybody was cool with that. Everybody was cool with it. When I was the worst version of myself, it was. This is and his last Coco. message is to the mother of my child, Crystal Coco Filipina Alarcon. The only public apology I will make is to you because me not being the man I needed to be in the moment I needed to be that, to be there for the child that I procreated. I never lied to you, I never misled you, and I never led you astray. So hopefully this public apology will give you the healing you need for us to be able to raise our child in peace, prosperity, and love so we can heal some of these afflictions that we've let the devil come into our family and our household and affect. So from this day forward, I ask that you work with me in conjunction to make sure that we can raise a young prince to be the best version of himself. Other than that, this is my public acceptance, my public apology, and it's oh, and I owe one. I mean, I, I don't really know the dude, but I mean, it seems like um, a lot of people are against him. I'm not sure. Uh, Look, nice. I'm gonna be real with you too. What the situation is? Um, good morning, answer. Oh yeah. It's I mean, dude's pretty much calling out. He pretty much called out. Looks like everybody. Um, here's something. Oh, yo, and look, and since everybody thinks it's a joke, I told y'all I had time now, bro. Like, I really wasn't playing. Like, I'm really sitting up. Like, I really got time. Listen, yo, Chuck T. I see y'all little comments all on the internet. It's cute, bro. You can't act like you don't see this, though. I, look, I see the comments on the internet. It's cute. I see y'all talking, oh, man, he's used to the head. This ain't the same thing, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. And I'm trying to be cool about it, too, bro. This ain't the same thing, bro. Like, when I see you, bro, I'm telling you now, if you got a problem with anything I said, bro, if you got a problem with anything uh -huh. I said, say it to my face. You gonna see me on my Whoa. side. I'll be in, yo, I'm gonna be in Charlotte, May, May 8th. May 8th. If you got a problem with anything I said, I know you be at the range, you gonna shoot me, Put your guns down. <laughs> you got a problem with anything nah. I said. Tell me to my face. Let's see how it goes, bro. But you're not going to take advantage of no more artists. That's dead. So he's feeling like that's crazy. I mean, let me go see some more of what was said on Chuck's behalf. Um, I mean, there was just a lot of back and forth stuff. Um, looks like some of the things that was online may have been deleted since then. Um, pretty much, you know, they were, Chuck posted this, uh, said he should have left them alone. He posted this stuff about it with his baby moms. He shared it. Um, there was text messages where, uh, Coco Filipina pretty much posted the messages online and, uh, Chuck was able to share them. I'm not sure what all this, uh, how did all this stem from that, but, um, Pretty much everybody is uh, looking for uh, Coco Filipina for some more answers. And also, there was a video where King Fame claimed that all the abuse rumors and things like that were lies. Um, he came out and said that they, they were all lies. Artists, the more... Let me find the one. Bro, why y'all was running around stroking each other ego? So Chuck T, now let me get this one straight. So the whole time that we were doing business together, you thought I was a deadbeat woman beater. So what you're telling me is that for money, i.e. the division event that I paid you fair market value for, that you will work with men that you think beat women and don't raise their kids. Is that what you're telling me? Thank you for the confirmation now. I appreciate you, brother. You enjoy the rest of your year. 
So Chuck T. Boy, my baby mama knew y'all was dumb enough to believe that stuff, boy. She knew she could not run out on me. She knew I wasn't going to be the dumb person dumb enough to run to the internet and defend myself. Bro, I'm a king. You're not about to run and defend myself to y'all? I'm getting all this out now, bro, because it was actors' words to be treated as such. Boy, everybody know who she is now? Y'all know who she is? You think, come on, you think I'm going to keep, I, I take care of everybody. I'm out here taking care of kids now. Right now. Orphans, other people, kids. I took care of my whole family, bro, from day one. My uncle, I'm his power of attorney. I want to take care of my son. Y'all retarded, boy. And guess what? This is what the system do to black men and villainize them. Let women use their kids for pawns because they're not going to say that because I'm a real one. I don't need the government to take care of me, boy. We about to turn up. I got time now. My son. Don't boy. <laughs> y'all crazy as. Boy, y'all crazy as hell. I waited. I waited all these years to clear my name. I got all the receipts, Chucky. I got all oh, the receipts. Man. Now stay out my family business, boy. And tend to your character assassination that's happening right now. The collapse of your kingdom. You know what I'm saying? Chill. Cause attend to that. I kept every receipt. I never touched her. Never, not one time. She she touched me. She tried to beat on me. Ask Boosie. Everybody was at Mike Blaze studio. Right, Mike Blaze? Then she had you pull up on me with a gun? You ain't even know what you was doing? You ain't know why? She threatening your likelihood? Don't you got kids to feed? What are we talking about? I kept every receipt. What are we having a conversation about? Yo, don't play with me. That's petty little people games. Y'all can play that, but you're not going to play with my son. My son works? You're not going to play with my boy. I'm coming to get my boy. Boy. Hello, man. Um, I mean, there's been a lot, man. Obviously, dude's name is Marcus uh, Leggett. Um, then you got uh, Chuck T. David Thrower uh, also. He uh, he ain't really did too many videos about it, but um, you can see where he responds to him. He uh, Mr. Chuck T had been calling him a queen. He's been saying she all day. Um, he's saying he's behind 30k on child support. Haven't seen his child in months. Um, they were able to get another blog, Unplugged TV. Also, they're trying to get Charlotte. Um, they got an article saying the failed NC rapper King Fame put on blast by baby mother for canceling bone marrow transplant for his son to go to a party and more. Um, everybody's in the comments uh, going kind of crazy. Um, it's been a lot of responses and things like that. It kind of looks like everybody's picking sides. They're saying it's over for dude. Uh, it's uh, a lot of people are uh, laughing emojis. Um, now, where they called him a failed rapper, you can see um, Chuck says <clears throat> the queen, fame, queen, the woman beat her dad, beat dad, going outside, wanting to party, not ch saving his child's life. Um, they were saying that uh, he's a scammer. They're saying he scammed people in Greensboro, Raleigh, Durham, uh, other places in North Carolina. Uh, people are just, they're saying he has, uh, Chuck T right here says this queen has zero monthly listeners on Spotify. This little girl made 50 videos about me over the weekend saying she wasn't saying she was ready for a major deal. And I shitted on her. She said she was the hottest rapper in North Carolina and I was hating on her. She said, I didn't have the power to get her signed, man. Jesus Christ couldn't get this chick a deal. And when he's saying chicken, she, he's referring to King fame. Um, he's kind of just trolling with it. Um. Uh, I mean, this is this is getting out of hand, and then it's crazy because the the night uh, before, you can see that uh, Chuck T was posted up there with one of King Fame's artists, uh, Off Strength AC, who was in the background with Chuck T um, at a uh, looks like a video premiere or some type of artist uh, feedback. I don't know review. I don't know what they're exactly doing, but they're they're all posted up. Um, Oh, it's a meet and greet for Big Moochie Grape. Okay, there we go at Black Diamond 704. Um, you can see right here where uh, King Fame, Marcus Leggett posted, I heard DJ Chuck T ran into some of my friends tonight. What a coincidence. They're saying it's game over. Um, they're saying he woke up mad because that Chuck T was there. Um, a lot of people telling Chuck T to chill out. They're telling him that... Um, you know, he's doing a lot. But then, you know, on the other hand, uh, King Fame is, is not letting up. He's being relentless as well. Hey, DJ Chuck T, uh, remember when I was getting the stuff done and we was getting the CDs ready for Five Star and y'all pulled up? He said, oh, 
I didn't know you were involved in Five Star Fame. Oh, you didn't? Yes, because I'm the architect, bro. Yes, I'm involved in Five Star. Why do you think you didn't know about it until I was involved? Because I found the people. I put the plan together through Don Christopher because he brought me to the table. I put the whole business plan together, top to bottom, everything, all the shows, the concerts, everything. And guess what? They beat me out of my bread then, bro, 20 M's. They beat me out of 20 M's, bro. And guess what? I bounced back, nigga, and I'm still up B's. What are you talking about? Y'all can call me. Boy, now Pocky getting wild. online talking about he remember when Chuck T leaked Lil Wayne mixtape. That's the problem. Self gratification, bro. You did that with all these other people as a fan. Come on, bro. That's the culture. Lil Wayne Carter Three. You leaked it, what for? Clout, publicity stunt. And yo, remember publicity stunt? That was the name of your company. You been pulling publicity stunts, bro, for clout. What are we talking about? That's like finding out somebody stole Kobe Bryant last pair of game shoes he wore, bro, and sold them for an auction, for chump change. That's disrespecting the culture. Y'all been disrespecting the culture forever. We don't want a reputation for disrespecting the culture in North Carolina. Are y'all retarded? Artist. Hey, I'm going to just say this, man. Um, it's been a lot of back and forth over the last 24 to 48 hours. Um, hey, can I ask y'all a question? It looks like King Fame's not letting up. He's constantly. Good morning, IG. He's posting, responding. It looks like um, Coco Filipina, something. I guess she's going to be on um, TikTok doing uh, some type of story on TikTok. So I'll have to follow up more about that. Um, this must be their son, the son of uh, Coco Filipina and King Fame. Uh, cool looking dude. Hopefully that they get it together. And um, hopefully they get it together, work it out, uh, settle their family differences, because this is bigger than just the Internet, man. This is uh, there's like a child involved right now. Um, King Fame and Coco Filipina, um, whatever type of uh, issues y'all got going on. I just hope that um, y'all can solve them. Um, it seems like based off of what he's saying, King Fame wants to be in his son's life. Uh, hopefully you'll give him the opportunity. Hopefully y'all will prosper. Um, Chuck T, as far as Chuck T, um, I'm not really sure how he got pulled into all of it or um, his position in all of it or if he likes Coco like uh, King Fame stated. But um, I definitely think that, uh, you know, he 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 is a, he's a professional guy. Chuck T is very professional. Um, I've always known him for handling his business. And um, just like in this situation, man, I know he's not taking this personal. Um, I know he's using this just as another marketing tool. He's a marketing genius, so I know he's not taking none of this personal. Um, I don't think that this will go any farther. I don't think, you know, hopefully that this would lead to anything more than just this. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it just stays here. Hopefully they just let it go. Everybody um, keeps pushing. Uh, it looks like uh, King Fame just actually dropped the project with his artist off strength ac so hopefully that uh project goes up um hopefully uh chuck t continues to be the powerful uh person he is in the carolina music scene hopefully king fame uh continues to rise his label continues to rise um hopefully coco filipina continues to prosper uh prosper i've seen her on the scene quite a few times uh so hopefully she just keeps continue doing her thing um hopefully they just move past this you know what i'm saying because i don't like to see it man i don't like to see uh two brothers uh going at it online and making a mockery of each other the things that were said it's just um i don't feel like nobody's any bigger than the next person i feel like everybody's still on the same level um i don't feel like uh if if, if you go worldwide and if you ask about any of these people um more than likely no one's gonna know them so until that point, I don't think anybody should be feeling like they're bigger than the situation. You know, I feel like everybody need to grind. We need to use each other as tools. We need to uh, learn how to communicate, learn how to connect with one of each other, with one another, uh, learn how to network, and just keep this thing pushing, man. Hey, um, it's your boy Rio Bands, man. I, I don't know if anybody else is following this, but I have been following this. I'm going to just continue to follow it. I'm going to do some more research on it. And uh, like I said, man, uh, Chuck T, cool dude. King Fame seemed like a cool dude. Coco Filipina, great woman. 
hey, y'all keep the motion going. North Carolina, we on the rise. Rio Bands TV on the rise. And I'm out this motherfucker, you feel me? Tap in. One.